Bonjour tout le monde et bienvenue. Hello everyone and welcome back. Aujourd'hui nous allons faire, today we are going to do les objets de la classe, some objects of the classroom, okay? And also we are going to do, uh, we are going to write a few lines about my class and my school, okay? So guys, let's begin with the vocabulary first. And then we will try to make a few sentences. Okay, let's see. This is a classroom. Classroom in French is une salle de classe. Une salle de classe. Okay, there can be a door and a window in a classroom. So, une fenêtre. Une fenêtre. This we have already done in ma maison, if you remember. Then, door is called une porte. Okay. Then there is compulsorily a board in class, which could be a black board or could be a white board. Okay, so it will be un tableau noir if it's a black board, un tableau blanc if it's a white board. So we will put the name of colors. Okay, so colors also we have already done. Then next, there can be a calendar in the class. So calendar is un calendrier un calendrier then there are uh, lockers for the students okay so these lockers are called un cassier un cassier okay then there are chair and table for students to sit so a chair in french is called une chaise une chaise and a table is une table Okay, then there can be a desk also. Okay, in some classes, in some schools, we have desk. What is a desk? Where chair and table are combined together. Okay, so desk in French is called un pupitre. Un pupitre. Okay, then there could be various uh, charts on the wall. So the charts can be called une affiche. Une affiche. Okay, there can also be a map. Map in French is une carte, une carte. Then the books that we carry to school. A book in French is called un livre, un livre. And if we are particularly referring to a dictionary, okay, because dictionary is something that we keep using. So dictionary is un dictionnaire, un dictionnaire, okay. Then next comes desk for the teacher okay so the bigger one it is called un bureau un bureau okay bureau also has another meaning which is generally office okay so un bureau is can be a desk or can also be office next so when we are in school or whenever we are in any educational institution we generally have exams we regularly have exams Okay, exam in French can be un examen, un examen, or we can also call it un contrôle, un contrôle. Okay, both are equally used and have almost the same, similar meaning. Then, uh, nowadays, because we are moving digital, so we also have computers in our classrooms. Okay, computer can be un ordinateur, un ordinateur. Okay, then... If we have a flag in the classroom or just to understand in schools also generally we have flags so flag is called a drapo a drapo then we have dustbins in classrooms so dustbin is called yun pubel yun pubel or it can also be called yun corbei yun corbei okay then now we will do a few objects that we can find in our pencil box okay particularly stationary okay a few stationary items okay so the first one is a pen a pen in french is un stylo un stylo okay then pencil pencil is called un crayon un crayon okay then we also have an eraser an eraser is called un gomme, 
yun gom guys uh, please make sure that you are learning all the names all these nouns with articles i have earlier also told in a lot of my videos that french is a gender based language and we must know the masculine and feminine nouns so please make sure whenever you are learning any vocabulary you should also learn the article that is used with each noun that means a uh, and yun you must be able to differentiate between masculine and feminine whenever you are writing a sentence okay so that is why here i am teaching all the nouns along with their articles okay so yun gom feminine so that is why we are using yun yun gom is an eraser next comes the duster used to clear the board it is called an effacer an effacer okay then the ruler that we have a scale is called yun regle yun regle then next is a marker okay a marker to uh, which is used on white board is called un fatre un fatre okay then uh, generally we have paper clips which are also called u clips so paper clip in french is called un trombone un trombone okay then we have loose sheets that we use okay to make projects and all so it is yun fai de papier yun fai de papier okay then we also have calculators that we use in class so it is called yun calculatrices yun calculatrices then a stapler is called yun agrafers yun agrafers then next comes your files okay files where you know we have those compartments where we can segregate it you know based on the subject or uh, based on the domains that you are working different domains that you are working for so it is called a classer a classer because it helps to classify different subjects then scissors in french is called des ciseaux des ciseaux okay sharpener in french is called un tai crayon un tai crayon so tai basically means to shape and crayon is a pencil so uh, an object which helps to shape the pencil is called un tai crayon then nowadays we have smart boards in the classroom so smart board is called le tableau interactif un tableau interactif why because it's an interactive board so it comes from the same word le un tableau interactif okay so guys we have done the objects which are found in a pencil box but pencil box is left so pencil box is called yun trus yun trus okay next comes a notebook a notebook in french is called un cahier un cahier okay then we can also have color pencils so color pencils are le crayon de couleur le crayon de couleur it means the pencil of color okay then next is the cello tapes that we use cello tape is called un scotch okay then next comes adhesive which helps us to paste it is called un col un col okay then all the stationery pencil box book notebook are found in a bag so a bag in french is called un cartable un cartable or it can also be called un sac a dos un sac a dos dos means bag okay so sac means bag to so bag which is put on the back un sac a dos okay so guys we have seen all the vocabulary of the classroom now i'll tell you a few subjects that we study in the school okay subjects in french are called les matières okay so we are going to study les matières à l'école 
okay there are various subjects that we study in the school for example there is drawing sciences chemistry physics biology yes there are also uh, subjects like dance then languages we study okay so drawing in french is called le dessin le dessin if you are studying sciences so it will be called la science la science okay and if you are talking about biology in particular so it will be la biology la biology chemistry will be la chimie la chimie computers okay if you are studying it so it will be l'informatique l'informatique okay then dance dance will be la danse la danse if you are talking about english language that you study in school so that will be l'anglais l'anglais geography so geography will be la géographie la géographie then geometry okay the geometry that we study will be la géométrie la géométrie if you are talking about history so it will be l'histoire l'histoire okay then mathematics so mathematics will be les mathématiques les mathématiques so it will be plural okay mathematics then if we are studying music it will be la musique la musique and there's another subject which is called physical education sports so phys- physical education will be l'education physique l'education physique so now we have studied the names of subjects also i hope now we will be able to make a few sentences related to our class or our school okay so if i talk about my class okay let's take for example a boy whose name is manuel okay so we want to describe his class so the first sentence if his class is on second floor so what we'll write is la salle de classe de manuel est au deuxième étage okay floor we have already done in our lesson where we did house okay ma maison so la salle de classe de manuel est au deuxième étage okay then we can start describing the class from inside okay for example if i want to say in the class there are tables chairs for the students a desk and a chair for the professor or the teacher and there is also a blackboard yes so if if we want to describe all these things in the class so what we can say is dans la classe in the class dans la classe il y a il y a means there is or there are dans la classe il y a des tables some tables des chaises some chairs pour les élèves for the children for the students okay un bureau une chaise pour le professeur a desk and a chair for the professor a un tableau noir and a blackboard simple description okay if there is also a map which is against the wall then what we will say is il y a aussi une carte there is also a map if the map is of france so we will say carte de la france so the phrase will be il y a aussi une carte de la france contre le mur okay contre le mur is against the wall okay then next is next if you want to say the students keep their books and notebooks on the table so how will do write the sentence les élèves met met means to put we have done met verb in re ending verbs les élèves met les livres et les cahiers sur la table on the table okay then if we want to tell what all they study what we can use is apprendre verb we have done that verb also in re ending verbs if you have not referred to that lesson please check the i button 
I have put the RE ending verbs lesson in that. Okay. Ils apprennent, they study. Ils apprennent plusieurs matières. They study various subjects. Com, that means like. La science, les mathématiques. L'histoire, la géographie, l'informatique, le dessin, etc. Okay? Then, if we want to say they write in the notebook, huh? so what we'll say? Ils écrivent dans les cahiers. Ils écrivent dans les cahiers. Okay? And, if we want to say Manuel likes the class of music. Okay, so how we'll say that? Manuel adore le cours de musique. Manuel adore le cours de musique. Okay, and if we want to say he plays guitar. So how we'll say he plays guitar? Il joue de la guitar. Il joue de la guitar. And the ending line can generally be he likes his class a lot. So, il aime sa class. Il aime sa class. So, this is a small paragraph or five, six lines about my class. Ma class. Okay. Try writing more sentences. And do comment if you have any problem. Guys, we will meet with another topic in our next video. Till then, prani de vous. Take care of yourself. Au revoir. A bientôt. Bisous, bisous.